Hey everybody, this is Kathy from Whole Home and Body Health and today I want to bring you a video about wiring errors, uh, the potential for significant wiring errors in homes and how that can affect you and your health and how to uh, track them down. So I am in Milwaukee, Wisconsin right now. I'm here for work and I'm staying at this Airbnb which unfortunately was a mistake. I am exhausted, I'm anxious, I'm depressed, I'm irritable, I'm cranky because this has turned out to be a shit, sto shit show. I can't even talk. This has turned out to be a shit show of an EMF location. So uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so the radio frequency fields aren't bad. Um, I specifically um, got this Airbnb because it was the whole place and I confirmed that I was able to turn off the Wi-Fi and so that seemed like it was going to be a better choice for me because if you're in a hotel or in a townhouse or a room or somewhere where you have no control over the Wi-Fi you're gonna get blasted with radio frequency the whole time you're there so um, that's why I chose this specific location um, but what I have found instead of the radio frequency we've got really high magnetic fields now we want this number to be under 0.2 milligauss right here just standing in the front yard I'm at 1.5 milligauss and as I head towards the house it gets much higher So I'm not even at the front door. Here I am at the front door. I'm at two and I'm gonna show you what one of the issues is. There are numerous issues with this home. Um, it's not just one thing that's going on, but I'm gonna show you what one of the big issues is. This utility meter here. Um, I should not be getting 56 milligauss in front of the utility meter and you can see it goes It's traveling along the conduit here oh My god, I've got a hundred over a hundred milligauss just on the conduit. That's insane So what's going on? There's something going on with the service drop. Um, there's something probably going on Let me turn this sound down with the neutral wire which is up there um, which is going out to the transformer over there and it's creating these huge fields that's crazy shit right there um, so that's not the only issue uh, and so you know when I'm staying at a B&B &B, I some I do this sometimes so that I can turn the breakers off if I happen to come upon an issue like this but that is not, if I turn the breakers off here, that's not gonna fix that issue because it's coming from the utility company. It's not coming from the house wiring itself. It's an external issue. And I did turn off the main breaker and we did see a reduction, but not fully. And we saw a reduction because there's numerous other issues here. And so uh, we're gonna head inside and I'm gonna show you those. Okay, just walked in the front door. Here's the living uh, room area. Um, you can see I slept on the couch last night because that was the best area I could find. Kitchen, and then um, we come back here to the bedroom. So I actually slept in here the first night uh, because I got in late. I didn't, didn't want to turn my meters on because I didn't want to know. And I didn't think there would be an issue. But the next morning, I, I slept like crap. So the next morning, I turned my meters on. And I'm getting three, almost three and a half milligauss on the bed. It's really high, you guys. Um, two and a half on the floor. So then I'm freaking out, thinking what in the heck is going on. So I'm walking through the house. Sorry about the lighting. So you can see it goes up. Oh my God. 
11 milligauss on the floor in the dining room area. If I come over here, I'm getting close to the utility meter. Good God, that is crazy. I mean, you guys, these are some of the highest levels I've seen inside of a house before. Um, so all over the place. All right, so you can see I got, you know, two milligauss on the couch, which sucks because it's really high, but it was the best I could do. And then I was um, doing some work over here. Pardon my sweatshirt. And it was six earlier, um, which just sucks. So I clearly I don't want to spend that much time here. Um, but the ironic thing is this rental car that I got is just killing me with Bluetooth. I thought I could, I thought it didn't have it. I asked for a car that did not have it. She said it did not have it. Of course I get in the car and I'm getting hammered. So I'm kind of screwed all the way around. All right, going down into the basement. Uh, the sun is going down, so it's a little bit dark. Uh, but this is where the breaker panel is. So this is what I wanted to show you guys. And some other things here. Um, boy, this is dark, isn't it? Let's see if I can get a light on. I don't even know, is that even a light bulb? Well, you can see good enough. Um, here is the breaker panel and, um, I've got a huge field going on, obviously, uh, near the, near the panel because you always do, but it's still higher than normal. Um, now when I turn off the breaker to the furnace, look at that from six milligauss down to 0.8. So there is a significant wiring issue on the furnace. And when I was upstairs um, and I put my meter on the floor, which was probably somewhere around here, and I was getting up to 10 or so milligauss, it did go down significantly when I turned off this breaker. However, it, it, it was still elevated. It, was, it went from like 10, to maybe two or three milligauss, uh, which is still very, very, very high. So I'm gonna just show you that again. I'm gonna turn this breaker back on and check out, golly, that's high. So there is a wiring issue on the furnace for sure. And now I'm gonna walk over to where the furnace is. Um, I do have little flashlight that I found upstairs. I'm not sure how it's gonna work, but let's let's see. Okay, cool. Um, so here's the furnace. And you know, this is just a stinking old furnace. Um, and so I don't know, you know, what the wiring issue is per se, or, you know, there's probably just, it's just old. Uh, and so we would need an electrician to get over here and find you know, there may be a neutral to ground connection. Oh boy, yeah, there's there's some definite issues here. I wish I could show you this a little bit better, but um, the next step here would be to get an electrician over here to figure that out. So definite issue. However, it's not, it's not the only one. Uh, remember, we've got current on the utility meter uh, and maybe a loose neutral or something somewhere from the utility side. We've got the furnace issue and this over here is the water and we've got current going on over here. Okay, so I just turned my gauss meter on. This is a little tricky because I only got so many hands holding the flashlight plus the meter plus the camera, but we'll do our best here. Now, if I take my gauss meter over to the water, Check that out. So I've got five milligauss coming in on the water pipe. So here is another issue. Uh, now I'm gonna try to get my clamp meter around some of these pipes here and see what kind of current flow 
that we may have. All right, so this is just a, a small a small little clamp meter here, nothing special. Um, it's an easy one to travel with. And let's see if I can get it around this meter here. Let's see what we've got. Oh, boy, that just started to increase. I'm not sure why. Someone's using water in the neighborhood. Um, so we do have current. I know that's upside down, sorry. Uh, it's about a quarter of an amp. Uh, definitely an issue. Wow. Check that out, it's going up to nine almost. Now if I get my clamp meter on the ground wire, interesting, I don't have anything on there, that's odd. I would definitely expect that to happen. Um, if I put the clamp meter over here, yep, now, wow. I don't know if you saw that, this just jumped up to 16 milligauss, and now it went back down to seven. It's jumping all, it's jumping all over the place. This is a significant issue. Now, I want to show my clamp meter over here, still a um, quarter of an amp, so, again, you guys, I'm sorry about the lighting, this is the best I can do, um, but you get the idea. So we've got current on the water pipe, we've got a significant wiring error on the furnace, plus probably a lot more wiring errors, and we've got a neutral issue. This is like a... Uh, a uh, house of horrors here for wiring issues and magnetic fields. So the radio frequencies, um, not a big deal. I'm not getting cell tower. Um, I am able to unplug the Wi-Fi. So, you know, that was one of the, th the biggest concerns I had when I booked this place. But unfortunately, it totally backfired because of these huge magnetic fields that we're getting from multiple issues. So did my best here, uh, you know, turning off the breakers really didn't solve the issues, did reduce it a little bit, but not enough, especially when I was sleeping. I, of course, I had to sleep on the couch, and so I was getting about two milligauss on the couch. When I turned off the furnace and other breakers, it brought it down to about one and a half milligauss, and that's it because of these other issues. And I didn't want to sleep all night with the furnace off because it got pretty cold last night and it was rainy. Um, so I had to sleep in two milligauss. Better than three to four milligauss that we had in the bedroom, but still way too high. Um, and so so these, these are the issues that you guys need to look for. So I just wanted to, you know, um, give you an overview of some of the things that we need to be looking for when we're staying in a, a rental, when we're renting a house, when we're buying a house, you don't want to, you're not just concerned about the cell tower nearby. You're not just concerned about the neighbor's Wi Fi. You got to look at these other issues because they're equally, if not more important, and so, so critical that you get an understanding of this so that you can avoid these issues because people might be unplugging their Wi Fi at night, which is great. But if you're sleeping in, you know, four milligauss, not great. That's not good. So the next steps here would be I, if this were my home, well, if this, I wouldn't buy this home. Uh, but if, you know, if I was helping a client and this was their home, we need to call an electrician. We need to call a plumber and we need to call the utility company to solve each of these issues. So it's going to be a, a big deal and they may all not be able to be solved. Uh, we would want to put a dielectric union on the water pipe so that we make a break in that current flow. And in some places, uh, you can do that. In some places, it's very difficult because plumbers won't do it or the, utility, the water company won't let you do it. It may be against code. Um, so that may or may not be able to be solved. The, the um, current flow on the utility meter and the conduit... Um, we may be able to get the utility company over and uh, have them fix that. Maybe not, it's very tricky. Um, the wiring issues, however, should be easily solved by an electrician. It's gonna take them some time to hunt that down and fix it, but that is solvable, but it doesn't cure the other issues. So um, in my professional opinion here, this would be a no-go for me. This house would most likely be 
well, it may be solvable, but it's going to take a lot of time, a lot of money, and we may not get the results we want. So that's really unfortunate and really unfortunate that I chose this location. However, I did get to shoot this video and help educate you guys. So maybe it was meant to be. Uh, so that is it. Kind of a complex issue. If you ha guys have questions, please leave them below. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. And of course, if you uh, subscribe to the channel and like this video, that's super helpful so I can continue to get this information out to more people. So I hope you enjoyed this and that it was helpful and we'll see you next time. Bye everybody. Thank you.